And when did you come up? When, with that line? Yeah. Um, that actually was, it came from a literal event. Uh, Willis and I were loading his, we were, uh, after tour, we were loading back into his house or his mom's house. And I somehow aggravated a nest of bees. And <laughs> they started to sting me. And I was like, shit! And I drop all my stuff and I run. And I feel that one has gotten in my pants, you know? And so I'm running, I'm like, fuck, man. And I run into the house, I run to the bathroom. But the, not only there's one bee in my pants, but his friends have come with him. And I go to the bathroom, I take down my pants, and then they all, like, they all stung me on the ass. Four or five. That's, you know, Jesus Christ. Uh, so anyway, I thought that was a pretty apt metaphor. Um, and also that line is in the song Swimming Pools. And that song is about sort of just being a woman in the world and, and what, how women brave things. Wet t-shirt competition. That's right. Yeah, yeah, I saw one of those. It's just tough to be a woman. <laughs> there's, there's definitely a... You have to develop a keener sense of navigating the world, you know? I think it's just unsafe sometimes. Like, I don't know a woman who doesn't walk around at night is a, is more aware. And the fact that you have to be more aware, I think, is troubling. Um, sometimes I think that it's, well, pretty equalized now. Emancipation, so? three or four waves we had, we've had from the early 70s on until now, but you say it's still, there's still so, a lot well, to do. Well, I think, I mean, politically it's different, but I think socially, the, the idea of, uh, I think socially, sexually, um, it's, there's a level of uh, objectification and vulnerability that I think men will never know, you know? I mean, we don't have to debate it. I'm just saying it's, but, uh, but again, how would a man know if he's not a woman, you know, and, you, and we can debate this forever, but I'm it's just true. saying that But how, how would a woman know what a man feels sometimes? I don't... Well, I don't know. I mean, are men yeah. afraid of being raped? You know, like it, on that level, like I'm saying, okay. you walk out on the street alone. Yeah, I know. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. okay. At night. I know what you mean. It's just the way you, st well, the way you perceive the world, that's what you mean. Yeah, I think the sort of the concessions and the heightened awareness that you have to have is different. You know? but are you are you happy being a woman? Oh yeah, of course. Oh, that it was never an issue. I was never lamenting being a woman or not. I'm just I was. Moreover, it was it's sort of just a song for the sisterhood, you know, yeah. just like an acknowledgement that hey, take care of each other. So. But do you want to be known as a feminist songwriter? Um, again, yeah. I Maybe labeling, because you were saying well, in the beginning of the interview, yeah. Vietnamese uh, American singer-songwriter. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, no, maybe, in, in the maybe. same way I shy away from that, but okay. I will acknowledge that being a feminist is a very large part of my biography. And so whatever surfaces in the songs is there for a reason, you know, but I don't. And I, I champion that cause more than others, mm -hmm. of course. But I, again, it, you know, where it shows up is, is where it shows up. I don't, I don't make it a point, really, to do. And, the, and I don't really like politics in my songs. I, I don't think I can do it well, and I don't want the responsibility of it. So Swimming Pools is by far my, my most like, overt, overtly political feminist song.